Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, I wish this could be on better circumstances. Is that you sense? Cry? No. Oh. Uh, but it's not, but um, I need to start over. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we are both sleep deprived, but anyways, welcome back to the channel. We are in the hospital right well, I now. I thought I was going to say hey guys. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. How do I say it? Do you say it? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Wait, I'm supposed to say it like that? Yeah, say it however you want. Just say hi. How would you say it if it was your channel? <laughs> Luca is knocked out because he had anest anesthesia. Right? Yeah. Anyways, so he's very tired. He just got done with surgery. And, well, we're just hanging out with him. He's very, very sleepy. I kind of shared a little bit on Instagram that he was getting surgery today. But I haven't really talked about why um so i guess we're going to go into detail as to why he got surgery and the whole process of it do you want to talk about why he got surgery um he had well first he had a hernia um on his belly button they Which said that, he was born with they said he didn't have to get that done though until he was like three years old but then he uh well they said it would close on its own yeah, well, if it, they said if it didn't, he would have to get it at three years old. So we obviously that's a long ways away. But we were uh, we ended up starting. We were changing his diapers a few times and his uh, just a few times. We've only changed it a few times. Well, no, a few times it would be uh, <laughs> his downstairs, his uh, private area would be swollen. Yeah. And we started to notice it. That's why I said a few times. <laughs> um. <clears throat> anyways, he ended up having another hernia. Uh, to where his intestines are going down to his his sack. Yeah, the, so it'd be his, super like, like huge, like swollen. fist size. Like I'm, I'm huge. like I don't. I, you guys can't tell like that is, but literally, <laughs> probably like a fist. Yeah, probably my size of my fist. Very, so, very, and purple and yeah. Yeah, bad. But and again, it wasn't hurting him. But we uh, we came in and then we found out, and so. Basically, they just knocked out two birds with one stone, so they did both surgeries at the same time. Yeah, so they operated on his belly button, and then also his, what's the, like, medical term? Scrotum? Scrotum, Testicles, yeah. whatever. Yeah, so his stomach intestines were, like, going down into his balls, and, like, that's why they would get swollen. It wasn't for any other reason other than, like, his stomach was going into there, so... And again, it wasn't affecting him at the moment, but like it would have eventually. So we got it done early, and he was yeah. he was really good today, very friendly, and yeah. So done pretty. Quickly. I guess to go through the process because we've been kind of vlogging, but it's really choppy. So we're gonna kind of narrate everything that happened. But basically, we were told to be here at six a.m. So we got up really early. What time did you get up? You got up before me. Yeah, I got up at like four thirty. Yeah, I got up at like 4.45, so not that much earlier, but got up, got ready, got everything packed, drove here. We had to check in. We were in this room for a very long time, got him in his gown. He was kind of just playing. He was grumpy at first, and then um, nurses came in. They were doing all of his vitals and just making sure all the information was correct so that they could do the surgery. For just one minute? Yeah, just just lay in here for a second and I'll try to just sh sh really quick. We'll just try to make it really quick. Yeah, he's like grabbing on to me. I know, I know, little guy. It'll be just a minute. Okay, you're good. Thank you. I'm sorry to put you through all this torture. Are you tired? Thank you. This is the remote. <laughs> She's watching soccer, of course. Oh, thank you. Oh, good. Okay. Hi. Where do you think you're going? Okay. Okay. Okay, bye. Uh, I'm 
Okay. Uh, uh. Mom, Dad, you guys all agree this is the right side? Yeah. Whoops. Say yes, right? Um, and then the doctors came in and stuff, the surgeons and the nurses, and they were ready to take him. And he did pretty, he did better than I thought. What do you say? Uh, I thought he was, he's pretty good. I, I think, yeah, I don't think they could ask I thought he was going to like behaved. scream and freak out. And oh, he, he during cried. that hallway time? Yeah. Oh, uh, I thought he was going to be a little bit more, but literally he, he said like mommy twice and then... He's he was crying. good. Yeah. He was good. Like he... Yeah. <laughs> What's this? Oh, there you go. Is that your pinky? What do you call it? No, no, come on. Let's go this way. Come on. It'll be fun. Look. Look who's this. If it gets a hold of you, it'd be a lot worse. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll never let him go. Aww. <laughs> he loves you too much. Yeah, I know. And they said he was really good back there too. He didn't cry and he was very like friendly and playful yeah. with everybody. So Yeah, and we couldn't go back in the room, obviously, like when he was having surgery, but we also couldn't be there when they had to do the anesthesia. I feel like I'm saying that's so weird. But when they Anastasia. put him to sleep. Anastasia. That's my no. cousin, Anastasia. <laughs> Shout out to you. Anyways, is that really? I was just kidding. He doesn't say I don't know anyone <laughs> with that name. <laughs> Well, if that's your name, comment Anastasia. below. I'm pretty sure it's no one's name, but anyways, so. That's a good dog name. Yeah, and the doctor, no, that's a long dog. Anastasia, no, I'm never. Anastasia, you're not saying it right. Anastasia. Okay, anyway, so they gave him this mask that had like laughing gas in it and he was kind of just holding it. And so then he would slowly just breathe it in and then he laid down and went to sleep and they did the surgery. The doctor did say like the whole in his downstairs area was a lot bigger than they thought so it took a little bit longer but they sewed that up they sewed his belly button up and now he has like um tape and gauze cottons, and cottons like inside his belly button to kind of keep it together so yeah so they took him back there anthony and i were in the waiting room and we just had some things to occupy ourselves. I brought my laptop to do some editing, which I didn't do. We played cards for two hours. We, yeah, we played card games. Two hours straight. Which, by the way, I just discovered I'm very good at... What's it called? I'm not telling you. Kingdom? <laughs> castle. Castle? <laughs> Kingdom. <laughs> Anyways, I'm very good at castle if you ever played that. It's a fun game. And then they got done with the surgery and we weren't able to come and see him right away. They had to wait until he was kind of waking up. Um, and once he finally started waking up, they had us come back into the room and I held him for the first time. He was so sleepy and literally it was the cutest thing I wish I had on video. He saw Anthony and Anthony um, grabbed him first because I had like a backpack and all this stuff on. And he, he just like super tight, he yeah. just like uh, bear hugged Anthony and was just so happy. I to felt see bad us. though because I she she kind of handed him to me weird. So like I was holding him and his legs were right here, and his yeah. I it he was obviously started to like yeah like down there he, just had yeah surgery, he's very belly. sore so that I had to hurry and give him to Olivia in a better position. Yeah, so then I sat on this chair which is very comfy. You guys can't see it, but I ended up holding him. I wasn't holding him like this at first, but. I was just kind of rocking him. He still had his IV in, all the stuff connected to him. And so, yeah, he was just kind of waking up a little bit. He's still going to be, like, very groggy and oh, tired I'm all tired day. Too. I am, too. We got up so early. Anyways, we are actually free to go now. So we are going to pack up, and we're going to head home. And you're really like a whole freaking luggage, you know? Yeah, I brought a lot of stuff because I was just really nervous. But...
Yeah, we're gonna go eat. We haven't ate anything. What time is it? Mm. Wow, 10, it's only 10.30. 10 10.30. That's just why started. they started so early though. Well, they also started early because he couldn't eat anything before the surgery. And so like for kids, it's easier to do them early. Cause like obviously- Oh, is that why? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Cause obviously like if you're an adult, you know like, oh, I can't eat, but he doesn't know. So he's just gonna be hungry. Anyway, so. That makes more sense. Yeah, he's all done. He's good. Surgery went well. Um, and now he just has to heal and recover. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys are going through the same thing or if you guys were just curious about what was going on with him. <sighs> Anything to add? Ashaman I don't know how to say that, but... I think it's like hi and is Islamic? Is that a thing? I don't know. Alright. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.